Read part three of this, your bonus knowledge. And they have to look on at the couple of you know ideas about the injections in the last one, read. See now we uh, obviously this idea of the Bible is one of the big ideas, the blood of Jesus. See? So like you know, if if you if you take this uh, sort of um intravenous knowledge and the uh, you know, knowledge about syringes and injections now, you basically get the idea of the blood of Christ, why the blood of Christ is so important, right? And of course pierced in the side with the spear, right? So pierced in the side with the spear, right? Uh, again, symbolic of the metaphor of the, uh, you know, of the um, injection, right? So whether like this, like, uh, symbolize sort of uh, the King James idea, you know, getting the first injection or something, you know, that's a possibility, like, and as, we, as we see here, you know, the, uh, the blood of Christ, and the sacramental blood wine, so obviously the drinking idea, see, and there's the tea, of course, and the uh, same blood of Christ shed on the cross. You see that the blood of Jesus is the foundation for God's covenant of grace, the J-race. Right? So the blood is the foundation, so the, the important part is the, the blood of Jesus idea. Right? So changing the blood of that, right? Going back to that uh, one I was looking at before, Tanit, right? Is he an interesting piece of knowledge about this? Yeah, like uh, the hypostatic, right? Hypostatic. And yeah, uh, of course, hypodermic needle, right? Hypo under the skin. You see, this could be an um, explanation of the duality idea, so you represent two aspects. The hypostatic. And of course you got this song, read, I've got you under my skin, read. It's obviously, you know, it's obvious what this is about. Once you know these knowledges, and again, the 36, triple six could. Cool porter, the hot cools, the hot cools and Interesting, you've got Cool's Law now, Cool's Law, the Law. But you know, it's obvious what this is about, yeah. Once you realise this stuff. Of course, trans, you know. But yeah, the Law, right? Like the wheels, right? Remember the type of wheels out here and the Law. The Torah means obedience to God's law. And Nun was and there I think the, when you have the Bible, right? The law is basically specifically to do with tea drinking, right? This is why you got the Prince of Wales idea. So it's the Prince of Laws idea, you see. The law, pull there of the law, as in this biblical law. And it's basically do with the, uh, the trans, basically. Right? Law, they were trans. See how this law idea right, uh, relates to tea drinking. So circumcision has value if you observe the law, but if you break the law, your circumcision has become uncircumcision. So again, it's to do with the trans program idea. If you observe the law, you know, if you break the law, they, uh, to, to throw you out the trans program. See what I mean? That they uh, excise your uh, bloodline out the trans program. So, you know, very, you know, obviously Romans, you know, totally goodly. 
the circumcision in the end of being the trans, eh? And we say here, so then if those who are not circumcised keep the laws and requirements, will they not be regarded as do they were circumcised? Yeah, obviously not like, you know what I mean? They'll be treated like scum basically if you're like uncircumcised, eh? Look at this bizarre sort of story we do with a recent news article. Scientists discover how ancient Romans created self-healing cement, you know. And then, you know, three, six and seven. You know, totally occurred at us, right? You know what I mean? That of course the nine. Yeah, we continue on the Romans book, right? Yeah. Because of your stubbornness and unrepentant heart, you are storing up wrath against yourself at the day of God's wrath, right? When his righteous judgment will be revealed, this is our secret code relating to teaching. Right? To those who by persistence in doing good seek glory, honour and immortality, he will give eternal life. Right? It's the teaching in idea, right? But those who are self-seeking and who reject the truth, see? And they, they, they hate the yeah, naturals and consider naturals evil. They've done these curves before. About, you know, this stubbornness and, and idea was just simply like, yeah, not joining the sort of Freemasons at some point in the, uh, you know, the past. Uh, simply not, um, you know, like uh, bowing to the monarch and all that type of thing, joining into a tea program and all that at some point in the past, it's simple as that. So this idea of the law, see, this idea of the law is just totally a, a metaphor for the trance, for the uh, tea drinking. No one who sin apart from the law will also perish apart from the law. You see what I'm saying? So it's basically showing that if you're a natural person, right, do by nature things required by the law, right? Even though they do not have the law, it just speaks says that you know, none of the rules of the society and all that even apply to natural people. You're not even like uh, considered as a human being, basically. You're like a, you're like a subhuman garbage if you're a natural person, see, under this uh, trans law. See what I'm saying? Ah, clearly. God judges people's secrets through Jesus Christ. Yeah. Totally uh, unbelievable, like, you know. And people have fell for all this stuff in a profane manner. And then they realise what it's about. See what I mean? Of course, Lawson, you know, one of the most popular, popular names, like, you know what I mean? In Britain and that. Yeah. Lawson. Obviously, loads of Lawson's, you know, you now they're forms, body card walks of life, and that. So, you see, uh, Lawson got my son of Lawrence, right? Coming from the uh, Laurentium, a city renowned for its beautiful laurel trees. Of course, this say uh, the laurel idea is all over that ancient Roman, you know, ancient Roman uh, BS type of stuff. So it's, you know, this, this yeah, it's the law, basically, it's the trans law, that's what it's all about, right? The, uh, the idea, you know, plants can be transgender. There's a few here, uh, you know, there's a four again, right? Like in the Lawson idea. Um, Loris Nobilis. Lawson the four, no the four. Of uh, New Zealand's Laurel Hubbard, the first ever transgender athlete at the Olympics. Of course, this is openly, and openly transgender. Because every every athlete that has been there, uh, transgender and secret. But they must associate the Laurel with the, uh, you know, with trans uh, genders and everything.
to your Dolores Nobilis evergreen shrub to for accept species, right? You must see that it's unisexual. Diocese, yeah, like the like the uh, church, the diocese, unisexual, male and female flowers on separate plants. No knows maybe it's the use ingredient from the yeah, yeah, laurel tree. You know what that? Maybe it's the use ingredient in the uh, transpression. You know, it's a uh, possibility like. Yeah, right, the plant is a source of several herbs and spice used in a variety of air uh, cooking and all this, right? You know, of course, the, the Solomon spice idea. Right? But also uh, air in an alternative medicine use. <clears throat> yeah. Used as an astringent and self, you know, self idea again for urban wounds. Pliny the Elder. So maybe this laurel uh, oil, you know, is, a, is a one of the constituent ingredients in the uh, the trans medicine, you know. Know what I'm saying? Maybe it just makes the uh, the harsh chemicals go go in the bloodstream a bit uh, easier or something. You know what I mean? And the uh, course that you've got. To emphasize the importance of it, they got one of uh, the you know Greek myths about the Daphne was transformed into a laurel tree. See, so they love, love this laurel idea. And of course, poor laureate, so absolutely love this idea. Like. And then stated that the laurel is not permitted for preferred uses. <laughs> Very, uh, not a good, eh? Poor propitiation of divinities. The heavenly fire demon. So, you know, very, uh, you know, remember how Moses had a burning bush in the, uh, in the Bible. And this one, then the laurel plant inhabited by a heavenly fire demon. So very, you know, a lot of good in this laurel idea. Now, laurel is here uh, related to this one, those Manthus fragrance, because you could say the mason, the TH. And, uh, sweet tea, I mean sweet olive tea, olive. So the olive in the laurel is uh, related in terms of plants. You know, and of course, uh, you know, there's a lot of olive stuff in the Bible and that. They're uh, infused with tea leaves to create osmanthus tea. So, you know what I mean? Of course, you know, like the names Laura, Laurie, and Laurie Lee, and all this, you know. Look at all the Lauras and what have you. You know, it's a very, what was the big idea, you know, the Laura and the law. Law of tea drinking, right? And there, this one here. It's from County Wicklow, you know, the wick, the candle wick. And that's where that Boerman's, you know, that Boerman's family of, of upper crusts live. County Wicklow, so this is obviously full of tea drinkers out there in the island lake. County Wicklow. Light. The tea could, see? Laura Jane Hamilton, Lady Jane Hamilton.